Although it's not always in view, keep in mind that all the people in this demonstration are on that frictionless disc. And so that's why they'll freely rotate when they're given any kind of push, also called torque. Right now, torque is just being applied to the bike tire all by itself. I'm giving it a push at a certain radius, so now it has angular momentum. Look what happens to the rotary portal underneath me. I start to turn in the opposite direction, and then as I keep going, I can stop it, and then I can come back. Come back to you, just like that. Stop it, and go back to the other side. Why? Because the There's momentum. this thing called angular momentum, where it transfers. That's right, angular momentum transferred from the gray bike tire to the person and the platform. This is all happening because of the conservation of angular momentum. As long as nobody from the outside is pushing on the bike tire or Miss Keiki, then the angular momentum is supposed to be the same. It's all contained in the bike tire and Miss Keiki. Angular momentum stays the same as long as there's no outside forces or torques. So whatever momentum's in the bike tire and Miss Keiki stays inside of that system. Let's take a closer look at what angular momentum is. So now let's take a closer look at how to describe angular momentum. The angular momentum is spinning counterclockwise as viewed from the top. My fingers are curling in the direction of the angular momentum or rotational spin. My thumb winds up pointing upwards when I curl my fingers this way. The thumb is the direction of the angular momentum vector. If my spin was going the other way, my fingers would also curl the other way, and I'd have a thumbs down. So in that case, I'd have an angular momentum vector pointed down. Why, though, do we use the thumb for the vector's direction? That has to do with torque. Torque is basically the direction of the angular push. If I was to push something forward, it would move forward. In this case, torque is the perpendicular force times the lever arm. And its cross product is a vector that's upward, that purple one there in the picture. So if the torque has a vector upward, and that's the direction of the angular push mathematically, then the momentum will go in the direction of the torque. The angular speed would be in the direction of the torque, which is upward. It has to do with cross product in math, and that is why our angular momentum vector is up with the torque. So here, all of the angular momentums in the bike tire and an angular momentum vector is pointed upwards. So at this moment, I'm on the platform and the bike tire is spinning. So the bike tire has angular momentum. Its vector is pointed upwards, it's plus one. I'm not spinning, I'm just on the platform. So I have no angular momentum, it's zero. Zero plus one is one. The total angular momentum of the whole system of Mr. Freitas and the bike tire is just one. The total angular momentum before is plus one. From here I flipped the bike tire over so now the spin that had angular momentum pointing up is now the opposite way. I, I flipped it over. The angular momentum vector for the bike tire is now pointing down. So that's going to be negative one. And then what happened to Mr. Freitas? Well he started spinning in the direction that the bike tire was originally rotating. It had a plus momentum. And now that plus momentum was transferred to Mr. Freitas. The bike tire slipped over, it has a negative one momentum, but now Mr. Freitas is spinning at a positive angular momentum. Since Mr. Freitas and the platform are actually very massive, that's actually more angular momentum. So let's assume it's double. So what we have is Mr. Freitas has an angular momentum of plus two, the bike tire has a angular momentum of negative one, plus two minus one is plus one. But that's the same angular momentum we had before. The angular momentum before was plus one, the angular momentum afterwards is plus one, angular momentum is conserved. So it's because of the law of conservation of angular momentum that we see the bike tire transfer angular momentum to Mr. Freitas.